Hello everyone. So today in this video we are going to study convex sets and convex hulls. Let's begin with convex sets. So convex set is basically such a set uh, from where if you choose any two points from the subset and if you draw a line, the line should be in the set itself. It shouldn't be out of the set. So as you can see in the example, uh if you draw any okay if you draw any two points if you take any two points and if you draw a line segment it is not outside the graph but in the example below that if you take this point if you take this point and if you draw in the point this region is outside the graph it is not contained therefore it is not convex so, the above three examples are of convex sets and these are not convex. Okay, uh, so let's try to write a formal definition for convexivity. So, let's say this, let's call this set A. And let's say that there exists a set A such that, okay, such that X comma Y are the two points that belong to A. And there is a lambda which belongs to 0 from 0 to 1 such that, such that, we have this equation x lambda plus 1 minus lambda y belongs to A. If this condition holds true, then A is convex. A is a convex set. Okay, I hope I'm clear. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, yeah, I practically wrote the same thing for you guys. So that will save some time. Yeah, so as you can see for this, uh, C for the set A and B, this is this red portion. It doesn't include in the graph B and therefore this is not convex. And this is convex. So, in general, you can, like, see that the convex figure, now, for example, y is equal to x square, this graph, uh, usually, so if you take any two points, it's always going to be between. So, it's not outside the graph. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is, if you see every time the boundary of the convex set, the boundary is also convex. Like for example, in this, the boundary is not convex here and thereby the set is not convex as well. Okay, so let's begin with convex hull. Let's first see the notation of convex hull. So you basically write this. This is the notation of convex hull. So there are many convex sets or points and you have to cover this points, a set of convex or convex sets such that the boundary that you draw to cover all of these sets or points should be the minimum one. For example, in a given figure as you can see that there are some set of points and there is a figure that is covering all of them. Uh, the blue one. This is the convex hull. Yeah, as I've already written, this is the convex hull. Let's say this is G. So this is the convex hull. Okay. And so this is the minimum one, right? You can, you can draw this one. This is also a convex set that covers all the points but there exists a minimum one and that is going to be our convex hull okay 
uh, let's try to analyze what happens when okay for now let's just delete this and try to analyze the convex hull of just one point so i have this one point and i have to understand that what convex set can cover this point okay which also has to be minimum so it's going to be the point itself so convex cell of a point is convex is a point itself now let's say there are two points so what is going to be the convex cell of two points it's going to be the line segment right now let's say there is a third third point there are three points in this case it has to be a triangle the minimum so this is the minimum convex set that covers uh -huh. okay <laughs> yeah so this is the minimum convex set that covers all the points so this is convex hull now let's just uh, name these points let's say it's u1 u2 and u3 and let's say there is an x somewhere that belongs to the convex hull of u1 u2 and u3 okay so how do we mathematically formally define it and let's just call this set as a okay so this a set consists of three points that is u1 u2 and u3 you have to formally write the definition of it let's see so this x can be represented can be expressed in terms of scalar multipliers and this points which is also called as convex combination so x can be expressed as convex combination of alpha 1 u1 plus alpha 2 u2 plus alpha 3 u3 such that alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 is equal to 1 and okay and alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 are all greater than equal to 0 okay now let's just uh, write a generalized formula for n where n is equal to d plus 1 so we have now d plus 1 points or you can consider d plus 1 convex sets so now we have to write the convex hull for these d plus 1 sets and the convex hull again is going to be the minimum convex set to cover all of these convex sets and con uh, points or points so yeah this is going to be the generalized so it's alpha it goes till alpha so basically i can just write it again it is something like x is equal to summation your i goes from one to the number of points you have and this is x i alpha i so you can write it like this sorry it's not x it's u yeah and here it's necessary to mention that alpha i is greater than or equal to zero yeah so thank you so much for watching the lecture and goodbye